The human thorax includes the thoracic cavity and the thoracic wall. It contains organs including the heart, lungs, and thymus gland, as well as muscles and various other internal structures. Remembering and relating to these structures and their associations could be a whole lot of information. Actually, studying anatomy and remembering all the information is definitely exhausting and time-consuming. To ease your studies, here I have put together some mnemonics to help you remember. Aorta versus vena cava, which is right and which is left. Aorta and right each have five letters, so aorta is on the right. Vena and cava and left each have four letters, so vena cava is on the left. Major branch order of the aortic arch. This should be as easy as knowing your ABCs. Aortic arch gives rise to brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid, and left subclavian. Beware though of the trick question of what is first branch of aorta? Technically, it's the coronary arteries. Branches of the axillary artery. Screw the lawyer save a patient. Wow. This sounds like a battle between the doctor and the lawyer. Anyway, superior thoracic, thoracoacromial, lateral thoracic, subscapular, anterior circumflex humeral, and posterior circumflex humeral. Alternatively, use this. Sometimes life seems a pain. Yeah, especially when studying anatomy. Cardiac valves. Their order in circuit. Try before you buy. This seems like a general rule when buying shoes or something. Tricuspid valve is located in left heart and bicuspid valve is located in right heart. Blood flows through the tricuspid before bicuspid. Try before by. Sequence of heart valve. Try pulling my aorta. No. Please don't try that. Tricuspid. Pulmonary, mitral, and aorta. Numbers of lung lobes, right versus left. Tricuspid heart valve and tri-lobed lung both on the right side, bicuspid and bi-lobed lung both on the left side. Branches of the subclavian artery Very tired individuals sip strong coffee served daily. Vertebral artery, thyrocervical trunk, inferior thyroid, superficial cervical, suprascapular, costocervical, superior intercostal, and deep cervical. Branches of the thoracoacromial artery. This also, should be as easy as A, B, C, D. Acromial, breast, that is pectoral, clavicular, and deltoid. Thoracic duct relation to azygous vein and esophagus. The duct between two gooses. Thoracic duct is between two gooses, azygous and esophagus. See what I did there? Innervation of serratus anterior. Salt. Serratus anterior is innervated by long thoracic. Contents of superior mediastinum. Bats and tent. Definitely, when you go camping, you should make your tents to prevent bats around. Brachiocephalic veins, arch of aorta, thymus, superior vena cava trachea, esophagus, nerves which are vagus and phrenic, and then thoracic duct. Just so you know, the segments of right middle lobe are medial and lateral. Order of intercostal blood vessels and nerve in the costal groove of the ribs. Van. From superior to inferior, vein, artery, and nerve. Bronchopulmonary segments of right lung. A palm seed makes another little palm. In order from superior to inferior, apical. 
posterior, anterior, lateral, medial, superior, medial basal, anterior basal, lateral basal, and posterior basal. Branches of subclavian artery Vitamins C and D, vertebral artery, internal thoracic artery, and thyrocervical trunk, which all arise from first part of subclavian artery, then costocervical trunk from first part in left and second part in right, and dorsal scapular artery from third part. Apertures of diaphragm at spinal levels. Remember the vowel sounds. Aorta, T12, esophagus, T10, inferior vena cava, T8, OU can be used to remember that it's on moving up from T12. Nerve supply of diaphragm. 3 from 3 inches. Think, 3 roots from C3, C4, which is dominant, and C5. These nerve roots unite to form the phrenic nerve which innervates the diaphragm. Damage to the phrenic nerve will thus lead to diaphragmatic paralysis. Having compiled these few, if there are some mnemonics on this region you know, please add yours in the comment section down below. Or if there is a particular area you find difficult to remember, mention it in the comment. If you haven't checked the mnemonics on head and neck region, upper and lower limbs, please click on the suggestion above. Thanks for joining, please subscribe and hit the notification bell, and anticipate my next mnemonic video.